Hello guys, this is going to be a short little uh, tutorial fixing video. So, I made Dawkins new farm, 14.4, and even though it's 14.3 and we're playing on a spade server, there were some problems that cropped up. And one of these problems was that um, <laughs> they used to spawn in the trap doors. So what I did was just ex extend the... Um, slab underneath the thing by one and it's working fine it has been working fine and the thing is that he didn't specify a collection area but this is basically how it's done right so imagine the original 5x5 five five, and you just go out three and put water streams there because they'll just drop off and they don't have enough vertical distance to be able to move horizontally um, farther than these blocks and it's just a layer of uh, lava, but you can make them drop like 80 blocks or something, and therefore they'll they'll be out of the village range, and uh, they'll keep spawning more regardless of if there's any in this chamber. But yeah, that should be it. Look at how much we've got in like two hours or something. But it's a very efficient farm, and I, um, you can build one. 10 blocks from each other uh, horizontally this way but also here's another thing that you can do if you're in the desert you don't have to worry about lightning strikes in the desert and you can use a husk and husks don't burn in daylight so you can just gather as much many husks as you can and try to get them into this the only difficult part is that if you have the villagers in place already uh, any platforming that you do um, this <laughs> The husk has a risk of getting killed by an iron golem that spawns up there. And I've been running this for about like, uh, about 10 hours. Got about like six uh, stacks of blocks with it. And hasn't spawned any more golems on those sides after I put those uh, uh, slabs there. So apparently they can spawn on the spruce slabs. They won't spawn on carpet. And they uh, I can put carpet on there and if you build it in desert you don't have to worry about lightning strikes turning the villagers into witches and you could use husks so that's basically it <laughs> those are the only changes I made and they have as you can see working changes one village will spawn um, one golem at a time but as you saw those two spawned at the same time so you basically uh, you basically know there's two villages set up here and they're all spawning here because it's the only valid place to spawn. Everything else is covered in slabs, and uh, or they can't spawn on the composters and the carpet. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, the only reason uh, the husks work as well is because only the villagers need to be able to see something threatening. So this is why they're bobbing up in the water, and the husk is just right there. Plus, I don't think you even need the cauldron. Uh, for the husk, it's just to keep it at bit because husks are a little bit taller, so um, villagers can actually see it. If, probably if it's on like a full block or something, or even a uh, even a trap door. But you know, cauldron works best for keeping mobs inside. But yeah, also another thing, just put full blocks here. Uh, I made a mistake of only using half slabs, and that kind of. Uh, uh, made it difficult to place water. <laughs> Let me tell you that. So, yeah, those are the little changes I'd make um, to Dockham's Doc uh, design. I'll link it into the video description. And I can tell you this works very well. <laughs> um, for its size, it is, you know, I would make a couple more because it's pretty easy to make these cells. The only thing difficult is uh, you'll need a name tag for the for the the mob that will scare the villagers uh, but yeah it's very compact very very awesome very cool Dokim you've outdone yourself on the future proofing thing but I think in more future proofing you would have to do the design that I um, the little tweaks that I did but yeah that's that's pretty much it because think about it, about two hours, you get like a full stack of blocks, 
or something. And if you make a couple more cells of these, it's not that hard to make more cells. Yeah, or like a couple iron blocks, like <laughs> a couple stacks of iron blocks every uh, every hour or so. So it's a very efficient farm. Plus, it uses it uses the minimum amount of villagers required. It's not really expensive, and it, I'd say it's well worth the time you put into it. So there you have it. That's all we do. I wonder if I can actually look at myself here. Oh yeah, I got this little chamber up here as well. Uh, I guess I'll show that as well. So think about this chamber: is that it has a bed, has a little sky roof access, but the bed is just so that if you leave here at, during the night, uh, you can sleep and the phantoms won't go after you. This little block prevents any mobs from, if they even pathfind up these scaffold. Um, you can just crouch under it and go under it, but if they crouch, um, if they try to pathfind, they won't even be able to reach you, because they won't even see this as a path, <laughs> being that much tall. And yeah, the whole place is lit up as well, so we barely have any swans around here uh, to try to threaten our ourselves. But I still put on diamond armor so that I'm protected. So yeah, that's that's all I gotta say about this. It's very simple little additions and little tweaks, and it works pretty well as you've seen. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, good night, good life. Bye bye.